Travis, so what are you cooking up today, Travis? Morning, guys. Today I'm going to be doing my own green lip chilli mussel recipe for you guys. Really healthy, men's health week. Lots of good stuff in here. Maybe a little bit too much wine, but it balances itself out. Beautiful New Zealand green lip mussels, onions, garlics, all their aromatics, tin tomatoes. Really looking forward to showing it to you. Welcome back again. Another week, Travis, eh? Or well, a few Ryan days at least. Yes. <laughs> We've got a delicious seafood recipe this morning with a bit of chilli to help warm us up. Looks fantastic sitting there like that. Nice, simple ingredients and relatively healthy for Men's Health Week, which is great. It is. It is a good one. It's fresh and I find the flavours are just like from the succulent green lip mussels. Just, it's delicious. I personally, like yeah. between you and this is a date night meal. Oh, no, nice. There you no, go. I bring out if I'm trying to, you know, pull out the big guns. It's quick. It's easy. Well, that and, will impress the ladies, and, I'm sure. And it's something that normally keeps me out of trouble. So, right, we'll, <laughs> <laughs> move along. Yeah. Basically, what we want to start off with is our onions. I've got our pan on there. Yep. Getting nice and hot. So I'm just giving these just a rough dice up. Cool. It doesn't need to be neat. Um, it's something that, like, as it slowly cooks down, we're not going to see a lot of, right. you know, it's not. this isn't a, a massive presentation dish. So we'll go through. I'll just get you to chuck those there in the okay, in the pan cool. for us. I can do that. There's my lovely assistant. Thank you. Oops, spread of the fat everywhere. Don't, nice. burn, don't burn yourself. When did you last have a uh, doctor's checkup, Travis? To be honest, uh, it was actually only a few weeks ago. Um, a couple of days ago, I've just turned 30. Good. So um, I thought, well, now's, check. now's the time to go and find out whether I'm, I'm, I'm healthy or not. Oh, good on you, because a lot of men are very slack like that, aren't they? You know, they just put up with pains in their chest for ages, not thinking it's anything serious. So good on you for getting a, a check. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, we had Art Green in before. For Men's Health Week, if you go to a Unikim or Life Pharmacy, you can call in during the month of June and ask for a free pit stop, uh, which is like a health checkup that they'll give you on the spot. So well worth doing that. Travis, what an excellent idea. You know, he's healthy. We're cooking some nice food here. Onions are burning right, down. Some flavours. And what else do you put in there? Now, garlic. Garlic in there as well. well. So now we're just going to go in and we'll deglaze the pan. So in with it, the naughty bit mm. goes in there. It's all right. Something I'll plan. Oh, if nice. I give you that, could you just give yep. it a bit of a stir for right. us, please? Thanks, mate. I didn't have to tip it all in. Well, <laughs> you know, I, like a bit of, I like a bit of wine. <laughs> well, no, I was thinking I'd be going to save some for me, but never oh. mind. <laughs> well, <laughs> the romantic part of our dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this afternoon. True. true. <laughs> so we're just going to let them break down, sweat off, release a bit of flavour. Um, and, fr and from there, we'll end up going in with our tin tomatoes. Oh, nice. Now, okay. it doesn't need to be... Flash to me, tin tomatoes are tin tomatoes. So doesn't matter what's there on the shelf, they're cheap, versatile, and they're really gonna give body to this to this dish. Yeah, and I've noticed too, organic tin tomatoes, really cheap hey. So, yeah, you know, yeah, if you want so, to go organic, so nice. you can get that um, nice full flavour, do that. How hot do you like, Mike? Uh, well, medium, not too hot. So I can put two chilies in, that's, going to, that's going to be enough for two you. Two chilies? Oh, I don't know. So it's not just me, that's the whole crew, mate. The whole crew, so yeah. okay, we'll go two then. Same again, just a rough chop. And we'll put them in. Now, we're probably going to let that sit for about eight minutes and just, just reduce down. OK, nice. Nice And um, once we've done that, so before we even started, and I won't put the heads in, um, I took our mussels and I gave them a good clean. When you get your mussels from the supermarket, you'll find there's still some little scales on them and they've all got beards. So it's best to get them in the sink, bit of water, and just pull the beards, give everything a good clean scrub up before they go into, a, okay. into our dish. And any tips for checking for mussels, you know, when you get them from the supermarket? Look, you want to get ones that look like they're sort of alive, obviously. Right. Um, and that being features that they're still open a bit yep. um, and they're responsive to, if you give them a touch, they might close back up. Right. Um, the best way to tell, though, once we've got them cooked, ones that haven't opened, don't eat them. Don't right. touch them. Throw them away. Don't even feed them to your animals. Um, I mean that, that stops everyone from being sick. Nice work. OK, looking forward to seeing what else we've got to do here. We'll come back very soon. Eating food. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's all the passion, sort of, I guess, derived from there. And I, I like entertaining, having people over. And the best way to get people and friends around family is just sit around a table with good food. Nice, yes. So, so, yeah, so a lot of stuff that I, I've developed and a lot of stuff I do is just stuff that you've stuck in with your fingers and share. Like the stuff that's just, you know, like just home, home some life. Oh, I love it. Okay, and um, you know, I can remember you last week saying you cook for a lot of people, you know, groups mm. of up to 10, 12. Uh, can people book you for that? Yeah, 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 they can get in touch. If you through my social media or that, you can find me on Facebook or nice. Instagram or that. Um, yeah, we can talk turkey and, and, and put on a spread. Nice, okay, <laughs> and, and do you flat at the moment or are you living by yourself? What's the situation there? No, I do flat. Um, oh, you've got yeah. the luckiest flatmates in the world, well, I think. I end up doing the dishes a lot. Do you? It's normally, you know, you cook, you don't have to. That's what I. That's the rule so, I would roll with. Two flatmates, you need to back up your ideas, I think. <laughs> OK, so um, this is simmering it really right, nicely. So we've, we've reduced this down a bit now. Yeah. Uh, everything's soft in there. We're going to go in with our mussels. OK, cool. Now, this, as we talk... Oops. 
I'll make a mess, they'll go over it. As we talked about before, the important part is if your muscles don't open after this process, don't touch them. Okay, so cool. So we'll, we'll get them in there. I've got a lid here somewhere. Okay, cool. For this pot, we'll get them yep. under. I'll just this wee trick, hopefully the lid fits properly. It's not too hot. Just give them a bit of a shake. Okay. Just to get the sauce around them. Now we're going to leave that for about six minutes, and okay. the steam from that lid being on uh, is just it's, it's going to open them all up. Should nice be good work. to go. They'll be full of flavour. Uh -huh. Looking forward to that. How long roughly are we going to keep these on for? Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. And during that six minutes, take care of your bread. Bread. Don't forget, nice cob loaf, or if you've got a bit of stale bread at home, doesn't matter if, if you think that it's going a bit dry, a bit hard. We take it in the oven. Yes. Um, just just on just on 160 degrees. Yep. Here's my and um, just till it's crusted up. And I like to serve that with big knobs of butter and we dip that and use that as like a serving vessel on the side of the... Nice. Sounds good. Okay, so while the bread's going and these are cooking, just a quick question before we move on. This is your take on this recipe. So when you're creating for your flatmates or for yeah. a large group of people, what do you just do you just add in your own flavours and taste and go that tastes good to me? Let's hope everybody else likes it. Is that kind of how it works? Pretty much. I think it's yeah, it's all on opinion right. and taste. So if you have something you think oh that's too sweet, I'll add something a bit more sour or savoury into it to try and balance it out. But then I go to people when they come over or I'm cooking for people. I sort of ask, find out what they like, and I'll cater to them rather than being selfish and just catering to myself. So. And, and here's another quick question for you: Do you Google recipes sometimes? Because I know people that watch the cafe can just go to the cafe and have all the recipes that they need. But you, bringing us some recipes, do you do you Google and find oh, out, and then put yours? Look, I'd be, I'd be uh, lying if I uh, right. said no. But yeah, no, I look, I look on YouTube, and yeah. I, have, I have other chefs that I follow for inspiration. Nice, I like to Jamie Oliver, Heston, yeah. all, all the big, all the big normal names. And obviously, there's things that they do that are my ability is probably not up to. But I find a way to get something close and. Brilliant. Work with that. Nice work. Just finishing up now. A little bit of micro herb on top. Yeah. Garnish. Oh, look at that. That is a good night's meal. Brilliant. Oh, yum. Oh, that smells incredible.